Okay, so advice for students looking to expand repertoire. Um, the first thing I would say is, you know, thank you for making the effort. As I mentioned before, I, I strongly believe in the importance in showcasing these lesser known groups of composers as both the quality of the music and the stories they are telling, are, I think are really important to share. Um, equally, I think it is, it's just as important for young composers and performers to be able to see themselves represented. Uh, so the advice I have regarding this stems pretty much from my own personal experience of, of hunting for uh, more inclusive music. And that I guess is the first, the first thing is, you know, be prepared to actually do some hunting. Use your friends, colleagues, professors, uh, even social media sites as a starting point. Often word of mouth can be um, incredibly useful. When I first started looking for music by queer composers, I found many by posting actually in a Facebook group that I belong to. And I received a ton of responses, both from other brass performers and composers themselves, um, trying to get themselves out there. There are also now a number of databases that are specifically that have been specifically created to catalog music by underrepresented composer groups. Um, for example, the Institute for Composer Diversity, which allows you to search with actually a bunch of different search filters, and the Composer Diversity Collective. And so I, those are two also really great uh, sites to also check out.